Want some recommendations for what indie comics to pick up, plus a tutorial on how to draw the main character? Then stay tuned. Hey everybody, Daphne here and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, check out my artwork at the galleries and social media sites next to me here on the side here. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And as always, there's free comics waiting for you at the link in the description box below, so don't forget to sign up for them. So welcome to a new series called Indie Comics Spotlight, where I will be talking about various independent comics that you wouldn't necessarily see at your favorite comic book store. In fact, a lot of these comics are so under the radar that sometimes you only come across them either at conventions or through word of mouth. So I'm hoping this series will highlight books that you wouldn't have heard of otherwise and inspire you to go out and pick up your own copy and support some great independent creators while you're at it. And for a little bit of fun, I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to draw the main character. Now on to the first book in the Indie Comics Spotlight. In today's Indie Comics Spotlight, we are featuring the book The Adventures of Wonder Duck, The Furorian Takeover Part 1. The Adventures of Wonder Duck is a sci-fi furry adventure written by George Medina with art by Big Cat Studios. And I just want to thank George Medina for sending me a copy of this book. Even after I told him, I was more than happy to pay cover price for it. But it turned out he was more than happy to send me a copy. So thanks, George. I really appreciate it. So our story starts with the interrogation of a rogue scientist arrested for treason on a distant planet. It turns out that one of the super suits he has designed had escaped into the unknown of farthest space. Meanwhile, back on Earth, we are introduced to Duke Dullbeak, a washed up actor like Bojack Horseman, but without the chronic clinical depression, and of course, he's a duck. There is an explosion which puts kids playing in a park in danger, when all of a sudden they are rescued by a superhero named Wonder Duck by the press. But it turns out Wonder Duck is not real. He's the missing super suit that shows enough of its own sentience until it can find a new host, which turns out to be Duke Dullbeak, turning him into Wonder Duck. Duke as Wonder Duck tries to get used to his new identity by rescuing trapped miners and uncovering a den of mutant creatures. And the nefarious characters Professor Radimus Fink and even more nefarious Desi Foxton, a Hollywood type talent agent who wants to exploit Wonder Duck for his own gain. Wonder Duck is an all ages comic with colorful characters finding themselves in an adventure of cosmic proportions. George Medina has described his comic as heavily inspired by Disney afternoon cartoons, especially DuckTales. Ooh. So if family-friendly sci-fi adventures featuring a literal zoo of anthropomorphic animals is your thing, you will absolutely love Wonder Duck. Wonder Duck will be available at darkfirepress.com in both print and digital formats. You can check out more of the artwork of Big Cat Studios at bigcatcreatives.blogspot.com. And finally, you can see more of George Medina's work on his website, medinawip.com. And you can listen to him on his Catch the Craze podcast with fellow comic creator Sam Vera, dropping all the latest indie news, interviews, and commentary every week. I will leave all the links in the description box below. Now that you've learned about the adventures of Wonder Duck, let's get our supplies out to draw Wonder Duck. Today we're using our trusty Strathmore 400 series sketchbook and an assortment of Prismacolor Cola Race pencils, with the red and blue colors being our primary pencils for this piece. I'm also keeping my copy of The Adventures of Wonder Duck nearby because we are going to need the book to reference the character from time to time to make sure we get the likeness right. I have affiliate links in the description box below so you can purchase your own supplies at no extra cost while helping to support my channel. The first thing I'm going to do is take my red pencil and sketch out the base pose. 
I'm going to use a lot of basic shapes to get the pose that I want. I like the idea of Wonder Duck flying, so that's the type of pose I'm going for here. Once I get the pose where I want, I start to flesh in the body more. Wonder Duck wears a skin tight uniform, so it's important that it looks right. Now I finally get to work on the head a bit. To tell you the truth, this part is the most intimidating to me because I just find ducks are notoriously hard to draw because of their bills. So I remember every single Uncle Scrooge comic that I have read in my life and really go for it. Also, make sure the head is in proportion to the body. With animal characters, it's really easy to get carried away and end up with a mascot costume look. Sure, you can fix any proportion issues in the computer, but I'd rather not depend on Photoshop to fix issues that I should be taking care of in the sketching phase. I'm pretty satisfied with the undersketch, so now I take my blue pencil and using the comic as reference, I start penciling the details and really finish up the sketch. Even though I'm following the comic, I take a couple of liberties with my sketch. Wonder Duck doesn't have a tail, but I like my animal characters to have tails, so I give my Wonder Duck sketch a tail. I also decide to not give him his goggles, because I love the way the overall face and especially the eyes came out, Using my other color pencils, I go in and finish up the piece. Wonder Duck is looking pretty wonderful, isn't he? I hope you like him, George. So I hope you enjoyed this video and find yourself inspired to try out some new indie comics. So until next time, bye.